What's up guys, Boy Bot the Fell Handed here. I have a very, very special treat for you today. I'm very excited. Tiger 131. I've been waiting on it. Amazing tank with tons of history. I'm going to go over the history of Tiger 131, of the Tiger tank in general. I'm going to teach you guys all about it. I'm going to go over the gun, equipment to use, the whole nine. We're going to have a game, the very first game I've ever played in the tank. So let's get right to it. This tank is a early production Tiger tank. This is the exact same one as Tiger 131. Early production, you're going to have your FIFO air cleaners on the back of the tank. There are two of them. You're going to have rubber rimmed road wheels and your commander's hatch is going to be a little odd and that's kind of what we have there. It's, it's popped up. That kind of gives you an indication it's an early run of a Tiger tank. This is your mid-production Tiger tank. If you'll look at the back of the tank, the FIFO air cleaners are gone. You still have the rubber rim road wheels and the commander's turret is a little different. Not quite poking up, not quite sticking out like it was previously. So they're starting to make better designs and they're, you know, they're implementing them as they go along as they make the production run on this tank. This is your late model Tiger. You have the all steel rimmed road wheels, which you see on the side. Those are the ones that look like they have little bumps on them. The entire tank is covered with a anti-magnetic paste called Zimmermit. This is so magnetic mines would not stick on this tank. Now, the next picture I'm going to show you is of a Tiger tank that's not Tiger 131. Tiger 131 is actually the only original Tiger tank in existence. This particular tank is handmade by a group in Russia that makes these for private investors. Just kind of throwing that in there as a tidbit. Now, in the movie Fury, it is one of the few movies since the 1950s that have used an actual Tiger tank. You're going to hear a lot of people say Fury 131 is the only operational Tiger tank. Well, that's obviously not true. The Russians are making them, making them for private investors. It's the only original running Tiger tank. Here we have another shot of the tank in Fury, and this is why Tiger 131 in the game looks like this, is because this is how the tank was outfitted in the movie. They're very big into the movie. so. You know, this is also a Tiger tank, and I kind of want to show you guys what's not a Tiger tank, what's made to look like a Tiger tank, which is not. Once you know what to look for, it's going to be extremely obvious to you, the, the small little differences. This is actually a T-34. Once you get to the side of it, you will see... Yes, it definitely has that basic look. Now, if you look at it to the untrained eye, you'd say, you know, the road wheels look kind of right. The front, it's got the same basic shape. It has the same basic, you know, driver vision slit. The mantlet, the turret, it's got the horseshoe shaped turret. Everything looks kind of same. It's got that large characteristic muzzle brake. But if you look at it from the side, you're like, that's not a Tiger tank. No, that's something that looks a lot like a Tiger tank, and that's fine. I understand it's a movie. I just kind of wanted to show you guys because a lot, I think a lot of people out there really thought they pulled out on this, all the stops in Saving Private Ryan when no, they, they did that in Fury. They actually brought T Tiger 131 out from Bovington Tank Museum to be used in this film. Now, moving on, I purchased this package. And I'm just, I cannot tell you how excited I am now that you know a little bit about the history of Tiger tanks in general. I can tell you a little bit about this one. This one was disabled by a few rounds and they ended up skidding off of the barrel and going down into the turret ring and immobilized the turret. The crew could not move the turret, so they bailed out of the tank. The first round came in, skidded along the turret, hit right below the mantlet, and wounded someone. And then the second round came in and hit it directly in the ring, 
wounding another crew member, and then immobilizing the turret. So the crew bailed out of it. This was the first operational Tiger tank ever captured intact, more or less intact, by Allied forces. So it was a very big deal for Churchill. Let's go ahead and take a look at the equipment now. You have three primary pieces of equipment here you want to run on this tank and it is more or less vital. VB Attic states that you need to run a large caliber tank rammer which will reduce your load time by 10% which anything that increases your DPM is a good move. You are to also purchase a GLD also known as a gun laying drive this will increase your aim time by 10%. And the last piece of equipment are crew vents. This increases everything by 5%. Now, this isn't written in stone, of course. If you want to run your own mixture on this tank, that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly advisable. That being said, VB Attic does tally up what the unis run. So if you want to be successful, I would kind of lean towards that area. Now, if we look at the gun for a minute, the penetration is 168. They did buff this from the standard Tiger package. And the reason they did is because the standard Tiger package, the gun penetration is a bit mediocre for this same gun on your basic Tiger and they didn't really think it would move, I guess, a lot of product. I don't think they would sell a lot of these bundles if they had a tank that couldn't pin anything. Because <laughs> if you look, there is a considerable difference right there. Your penetration is 132 and your damage is 220. So the damage remains the same and the penetration is just abysmal. With the standard round, the AP round of the Tiger 131 you can actually get a lot of work done trust me you will see shortly me run this game using mainly AP rounds and it's kind of funny now you're losing 20 damage and you're losing also a considerable penetration that being said if you do decide to run APCR you are almost going to be on the same penetration par of the standard fully upgraded Tiger tank. Now I want to go ahead and say for your supplies I always like to run a 50-50 split of AP APCR because you never know when it's going to get down to the wire and you just need to start slinging those gold rounds left right and center and of course please don't pay gold for them hit the Y button Make it, make it silver. Spin the silver, not the gold. Same thing for your kits here. You know, you just hit Y, you can change the currency. You do not have to spend real money to supply your tank. And at this time, I'm going to go ahead and put on the equipment we discussed previously. And, you know, there's other things you can put on. It's, it's like I said, it's not written in stone. I'm just guiding you in what you need to use that will help you the best. You know, if you like to ram in your Tiger tank or you always get hit with Artie, you know, go for the Spall Liner. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm just going to try to guide you to get you to pick things that will help, help you kind of get your game up. Help you get your Tiger 131 game up. At any rate. Now, this tank, a lot of people think that it's not going to be very successful because of the penetration, but you know what? Let me tell you from first-hand experience, the DPM coupled with the penetration of this tank are truly magnificent. You don't think the penetration is going to do work out well, but the penetration it does have just works wonders. It is more than adequate. Now, I am going to keep this, the, the captain or the commander of the Tiger 131. <laughs> I like his name, and I would have to look into it. He might actually be the guy who was commanding it. I'm not sure. I don't actually know that much about it. 
but I did switch it out with my big time crew here that I you know kind of run around in all my different tanks Gottfried Grohlman is sitting on quite a number of skills and what better way than to put these in your Tiger 131 you know you want to put your best crew forward now guys, when you saw me put my supplies in, you'll notice I put in an automatic fire extinguisher. If you run German tanks, you have to be okay with burning to death, alright? So I highly recommend running auto fire extinguishers all the time. The reason your German tanks tend to burn to death is your transmission is normally in the front and the game sees transmission as powertrain Thus, that's why you can take an engine hit from being shot from the front. Hence, always run automatic fire extinguishers. Okay guys, so let's get to it. First game of the Tiger 131 on Pearl River Standard Battle. Now, keep in mind, I said my first game, Which I, was last I time, wanted so to be good. completely solo and go ahead and do my own thing and see what this tank is like just right out the box and lo and behold we have a brother from division two on our team so we you can't ever get away from the bulls now right off the gate this tank feels more nimble than your typical tiger now also keep in mind i haven't ran a standard tiger in a while. Not even sure I ran the hammer that much when I got it. So I'm really uncertain as to what to expect. Now granted of course we are bogging down in the water. That is to be expected. Terrain resistance and all that. And you know there's also a number of Tiger 131's out here. So there's a few more DPM monsters other than myself. This is a perfect shot as I travel up our left flank of the Fifel air cleaners on the back of the tank. You can also see the pronounced commander's hatch, which is indicative of an early production Tiger tank. I make a clutch shot right there, which didn't quite connect. I'm noticing at this point the turret is a little sluggish. Now, I know I'm in a DPM monster, so I'm not really stopping here. I'm just pushing this guy as much as physically possible. I want to go ahead and just see how many rounds I can get into him. And it's just at this point, it's like I cannot miss. I accidentally go up too high, and it points my gun at the sky. <laughs> now, I pull back here, and I'm trying to go ahead and square off with this T-14. I know these guys are just armored out the yin-yang. So I automatically load APCR. I'm not really in a position where I wish to tango with this gentleman back and forth. And the reason is, is because there's a number of guys behind me who are more than willing to take the damage for me. <laughs> so in other words, I was more I was racing the rest of the team to go ahead and kill this guy. Now right here you see how slow and sluggish the turret is. If a medium gets in close, you may be in trouble because the turret is extremely slow. I think if I I think I remember that it's three degrees slower than the standard Tiger fully upgraded. But that's fine, it's not a deal breaker. So I'm kind of breaking off from the pack here. I'm running up the mid here solo. And the idea is. I'm going to kind of get a little ground in between myself and the rest of that pack and see if I can't really make this tank shine. So far we've had a good game. <laughs> I'm firing at this TD and these tanks are so enormously crunchy. I haven't even looked at on Armor Inspector where to hit these guys. I encounter them so rarely and there's just a whole bunch of them in this game. Just look at the gun on this thing. Look how fast this thing's firing. By the time the shell hits, you're almost loaded again. This is the Russian medium of the Tier 7 heavy tank game. Now, at this point, I would like to mention this tank does have preferential matchmaking, so you're only 
going to see tier 8s, which is magic. Go ahead and put a quick round right there into the Artie, get him off the board. And now we're approaching the mid. As soon as I see what tank is up here, I immediately load APCR because I'm not about messing around and tangoing with this guy when I can just come around the corner and kill him. I'll take a quick scope shot there. Let's go ahead and call it a clutch shot. I wasn't fully aimed. And if you look at the scoreboard right now, we are winning. And I'm thinking to myself right now, I hope we can hang on to this. If not, I'm going to lose my first game in Tiger 131. And I'm going to be sad face. So there are still a few guys out here. And I'm I'm a little skeptical, skeptical excuse me, because I don't really have proper intelligence on exactly what's out here because you know when you when you open yourself up out here guys can pretty much shoot you from any section of the hill and, and that right there what I'm scoping is what I was afraid of the guys you know five six hundred meters away putting rounds on me you know taking me to task so I was just very concerned that I would take long range fire and there was little to nothing I could do about it so I'm moving up here. There's a TD on my left. I just need to get one tiny shot in. He puts around in me. And that's fine. We're okay. We're you know, and we're doing good. We're stacking up the kills. And we've taken little to no damage. This is a pretty good first game for the Tiger 131. Love this tank so far. I just like looking at it. I could, you know, honestly not do fabulous every game. And I would still be happy because just looking at this tank is an amazing tank. It's much like the Type 59 is right now. They're they're vying over my heart, both of these tanks. <laughs> so, I, I went into the building here, the little village, to take cover because I'm still apprehensive about getting shot from my left because really the reds could be anywhere in there and if they get eyes on me they could fire at me you know if someone's spotting me I could not see the spotter and the person way off in the distance could just put round after round in me so <laughs> I do know where one of these guys are and I know where the other one is he's on my map so I'm going up here and I went ahead and loaded the APCR because whoever this is on my cap, he needs to get the hell off. And I, I see him, and I, even the Tiger 131 is going to bounce off the front of this thing. But luckily, he was over angling, giving me his side. And then I go ahead and put another one in his side. And guys, you know, there's some things even the 88 won't do, and that's go through the front of an E2 angled. So just, you know, keep that in mind. He had it steep angled, and me like a fool, I went for it. <laughs> so don't do that. But, you know, it was a fantastic game for my first game in Tiger 131. I cannot say enough good about this tank. 2647, 800 assists, 575 blocked, made 61,000 almost. Top of the list, both sides, you know, the tank is amazing if you don't have it you really need to consider this tank it is outstanding love this tank had to send a message here to my compadre guys please make sure to like subscribe and share and you're going to see more of tiger 131 see you next time